A Singapore award that honours people with outstanding achievements in solving water challenges has been given to an Asian person for the first time. Professor Kazuo Yamamoto is the ninth recipient of the Lee Kuan Yew Water Prize. He will receive the prize at an award ceremony in Singapore next month. His brainchild, the Membrane Bioreactor, is deemed a breakthrough in the field of water reclamation. This technology is already helping countries around the world, including Singapore. It uses less energy, space, and results in much cleaner water for consumption. Professor Yamamoto chose not to claim patent rights to his invention to allow more scientists to conduct further research. On getting the award, he hopes that it can open the doors for more Asian scientists to get recognition for their work. Oh, it's very honored. It's very honored. And then also this uh, Lee Kuan Yew Water Prize is very much prestigious and the signature one. So the first Asian is very, very honored, yes. There are many, many brilliant researchers we have in Asia. Professor Yamamoto's invention is set to play a much bigger role in Singapore's water reclamation. The National Water Agency plans to quadruple the amount of wastewater treated with his membrane bioreactor technology by 2026. Clara Lee with this report. This is the Membrane Bioreactor, or MBR. It removes bacteria and solids and leaves behind clean, usable water. And it's been changing the water reclamation game. MBR is a three-in-one solution. It replaces the need for uh, settling tanks and microfiltration. So when we have less process, we would have to build less tanks, fewer tanks. And of course, that would mean that free up space for other beneficial uses. Because it's submerged in the water it cleans, MBR halves the amount of space needed for water treatment compared to traditional methods. PUB says this is important for land scar Singapore. The technology also results in a cleaner, more consistent product and consumes 80% less energy. We are always looking for technologies that allow us to operate more efficiently, um, environmentally friendly, cheaper and occupy less space. PUB has been using MBR since 2006, and the technology currently cleans 13% of Singapore's wastewater. But in four years, that amount will jump fourfold. PUB will open the world's largest MBR facility in Tuas in 2026, when the technology is expected to clean more than half of Singapore's wastewater. That will come after an expansion here at their Changi facility. This reclamation plant is made up of four trains which treat wastewater Wastewater. The amount of water it cleans is enough to fill more than 360 Olympic-sized swimming pools. And since PUB is anticipating an increase in the volume of wastewater due to population growth and industrial development, a fifth train will be added by the end of this year. This will increase its water capacity by around 80 Olympic-sized swimming pools. PUB is also looking into new technologies and for local engineers to improve on them. The MBR example further affirms PUB's belief in that in an age of decreasing global resources and climate change, innovation can and must continue to drive our water sustainability efforts for generations to come. The ultimate goal is to eventually adopt the MBR system across all its water reclamation plants.